It's no big secret that many superheroes are inspired by real-life animals. The animal kingdom is home to superpowers much more impressive and strange than just flight or super speed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our notification squad. The Dung Beetle We're starting out strong. Literally, the dung beetle is best known for its unfortunate food source, but don't let its questionable palate fool you. The dung beetle is, with no competition, the strongest animal in the world. There are plenty of insects that can lift more than their weight, most famously ants, which can lift up to 50 times their weight. That may be impressive, but a dung beetle is said to be able to move more than 1,000 times its own body weight. This is the equivalent of a 180-pound adult human pushing the space shuttle, fuel tanks not included. No other animal even comes close to a dung beetle's raw strength. A gorilla may be incredibly strong, but they can only lift about 10 times their body weight. So why then are they so strong? Small hint, it's the male dung beetles that are the strongest. That's right, they use their super strength in order to get a mate. The male of the species owes its incredible strength to the difficult mating rituals that the species practice. The stronger male will then forcibly shove his rival away. Love's never easy, even for beetles. These loved-up beetles may have been the inspiration for quite a few superheroes and maybe even villains. You think I'm kidding? Okay, let's take a few examples. Superman, Hulk, Thor, Juggernaut, Wolverine… We think you get the point. The Electric Eel Sometimes, the dramatic names we give to animals are just that. Names. A fire ant, for example, can't actually create fire, as cool as that would be. But everyone's favorite ugly sea monster, the electric eel, lives up to its name, and then some. If you ever watch a realistic superhero movie, they usually leave out the more outlandish powers, like the ability to shoot electric bolts. Like Storm from X-Men. Even the Star Wars movies limit the amount of force lightning Sith Lords attack with. Not only does this limit these heroes' cool factor, it really isn't all that realistic at all. The electric eel naturally evolved the ability to discharge huge amounts of electricity. An electric eel, technically not a type of eel but a large knife fish, can discharge around 500 volts of electricity. For comparison, 100 volts is enough to stop a human's heart. Luckily for us, electric eels stick to the ocean and, for the most part, don't bother humans. Their 500 volt charge only lasts a short fraction of a second, meaning that they're not usually fatal in themselves. That being said, if you don't want to know what it feels like to lick a car battery, give these guys their space. The Tardigrade now, this is a strange one. Also called a water bear, the tardigrade is too small to be seen with the naked eye, but that's not what's impressive about them. The tardigrade is one of the toughest animals on the planet, and they're one of the toughest animals off the planet too, since they've been known to survive in the cold vacuum of space. When it comes to toughness and survivability, the tardigrades make the Hulk look as fragile as a dandelion. <laughs> Most animals can only live in certain habitats. Even humans, with all our temperature-controlling technology, can only survive for long amounts of time in certain places on the planet. The humble tardigrade, however, seems to have no restrictions whatsoever. From the highest mountains to the deepest depths of the sea, tardigrades not only live, they thrive. They can survive in temperatures as low as minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just a few degrees colder than outer space. And it can survive heat up to 300 degrees, meaning that boiling water is little more than a nice bath for a tardigrade. While radiation may give people superpowers in movies, in real life, all it's likely to do is kill you. So, you know, please stay away from radioactive material. Tardigrades, for reasons scientists are just starting to understand, can withstand even the cellular damage of high radiation levels. Levels. If you think of a way to kill something, chances are it won't work on a tardigrade. They can't be starved in under 30 years. And the pressure of the deep sea, the kind that can crack human bones, doesn't have any effect on these little guys. Just for fun, we've decided that if tardigrades had personalities, they would probably be like Deadpool. Come on, tell us you don't see it. These little gray guys look like they have a mouth on them. And if you can't see them talking like Merce with a mouth, you're wrong. Turritopsis jellyfish Okay, we are going to keep to Deadpool for a minute. You may have noticed a trend, but this guy has a lot more going for him than you might think. Seriously, this is one complex character. Don't believe us? Get this. Once upon a time, Deadpool fell in love with death. Cool. It happens. The problem was that the big baddie, Thanos, was also in love with death. As in, the entity. They weren't suicidal, you guys. Anyway, Thanos being the upstanding fellow that he is, granted Wade Wilson immortality. Ah, what a nice thing to do. Except, no, you're wrong. That was a terrible thing to do. Thanos did this because now Wade Wilson could never die and never truly be with death. Wow, weird. Turns out that this might be based on true life, not the whole falling in love with death thing. 
unless you're into that. But rather, the immortality thing. The story goes that a couple of years ago, a German marine biologist by the name of Christian Sommer was doing research on the Italian Riviera. He wasn't just sipping martinis with a Bond girl, though. He was actually working. Unbeknownst to him, he had discovered something strange. His Turritopsis jellyfish were not aging. In fact, they seemed to be getting younger and younger until they achieved their simplest form. And then they continued the whole living process as normal. In this way, they are believed to be immortal. And if that isn't the coolest thing you hear all day, you obviously haven't finished this list. Mimic Octopus Okay, hands up if you like Raven. You know, the sort of anti-hero in the X-Men who can't decide if she's a good guy or a bad guy. Unless you watch X-Men Apocalypse, in which she is a good guy again, unlike in most of the X-Men movies and comics in which she is a villain. But seriously, she does some very bad stuff, however, as Mystique, her superhero name. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this incredibly fascinating character, let's do a quick recap. She is a mutant of undefined age who can shapeshift into any form, mostly human. She uses this to her advantage, and in the newer X-Men movies, we learn that she is insecure and does not prefer her natural form. It's all very heartbreaking. Anyway, turns out there is a type of octopus that has the same superpower. Now, we know what you're thinking. And yes, chameleons camouflage themselves too. But what the mimic octopus does is more complicated than simple camouflage. Due to its lack of a hard exoskeleton, this octopus can effectively merge into its background. Whereas a chameleon or similar species simply changes color, this octopus can literally merge into cracks and crevices, becoming part of the environment. So, like Mystique becomes an exact replica, minus the personality and memories, of the person she wants to imitate, the mimic octopus becomes like the surrounding environment. So, technically, this species could render the entire plot of X-Men Days of Future Past redundant. Regal Horned Lizard Buckle up, kids, this next one is going to be weird. We are looking at the regal horned lizard. In the desert, there is a very clear chain of command. For example, while feeding on saguaro fruit, a bird will drop what it does not eat. Ants will then come out to begin taking the leftovers back into their home. But before they can complete the task, they are attacked by a regal horned lizard, who has a sticky tongue and deadly accurate aim. The ants cannot win and soon they flee. That's not so strange, right? Well, what is strange is what comes next. The lizard is being stalked by a coyote, who wants breakfast. The coyote is bigger, stronger, and very agile. So how will the lizard survive? Put simply, the lizard has a buildup of blood in one eye and squirts it at the coyote. Yep, that's right. It squirts blood out of its eye at the coyote with the aim of an expert marksman. Of course, the coyote bolts, because who wants to eat something that squirts blood at you? All of this reminded us of another expert marksman with a red eye. Yes, that's right, we're talking about Deadshot. Deadshot is a lethal assassin, because if you're not a lethal assassin, you are not very good at your job. Deadshot claims to never miss. This sometimes hero is known for his accurate aim and complete disregard for life, which sounds a lot like the regal horned lizard. Think about it. To those ants, he is a super villain, and to that coyote as well. Seriously, Deadshot and regal horned lizards, there is not much of a difference. Alpine Swifts how long can you run before getting tired? A minute? Two minutes? Fifteen minutes? How about days? Of course not. Humans do not have that kind of stamina, but that type of endurance is possible. It was recently discovered that alpine swifts have this quality. Scientists say that it is possible that three of them flew for 200 days straight without stopping. Now that is incredible. Can you imagine doing anything non-stop for 200 days straight? To have that sort of single-minded focus and endurance, you would need superpowers, right? Wrong! We're going to pull the Batman card. Yeah, that's right, we love Batman. And no, he did not run for 200 days straight, but if he wanted to, he probably could. Because Batman. All throughout the comics, it becomes increasingly apparent that Batman can do anything he sets his mind to. There are countless incidents where he completes a task with near inhuman stamina. For example, in one of the comics, he performs arm pull-ups on a helipad for an unspecified amount of time and only stops because he has been interrupted. He has been known to do workouts that would kill an ordinary man, but they only leave him wanting more. Besides that, he fights crime day after day, night after night for years, while still maintaining his life as Bruce Wayne. That's as close to flying non-stop for 200 days as we're going to get. Liar birds. Move aside, peacocks, it's time for liar birds to shine. Liar birds are known for their beautiful plumage that is supposed to help them get mates and win beauty pageants. Now, excessive beauty has been known to be a superpower, but that's not what we will be looking at today. Liar birds can also mimic any sound they hear. 
This is not limited to camera shutters, jangling keys, and basically anything else that they hear. Now, this is known as mimicking, but has been transformed into a superpower in the comic book world. Mainly sound manipulation. Take Black Canary, for example. You may know her as the butt-kicking vigilante on the CW Network's Arrow. And you are right, because she is all that. But she also has one amazing voice. True, she usually fights using martial arts and has a gifted tactical mind, but her scream attack is what separates her from other superheroes. The canary cry, as it is known as, is when she forms vibrations with her mouth that are so powerful they can destroy organic and inorganic objects. Let's be grateful that the lyrebird cannot do that, otherwise Australia would be even more deadly than it is now. No joke, these birds would probably destroy everything and everyone. Then again, if they could do that, then black canary would be real, and that might just make up for the fact that there are were more killer birds on a rampage in Australia. Salamanders What do salamanders and Wade Wilson have in common? They can both bounce back pretty quickly after losing a limb. Or, in the case of Deadpool, his actual body. Which has happened before, by the way. But enough about Deadpool. Let's look at the fact that regenerative healing powers exist. That is pretty cool. Imagine how different the world would be if we could have the same superpowers. How many superheroes and villains can you name who have these powers? Our top three are The Flash, Wolverine, and Deadpool. Most of us are familiar with The Flash's healing powers, but let's dwell on them for a second anyway. Most of us would kill for super speed, and we don't want to talk about what we would do with them. But most of us don't consider how awesome healing powers would be. You would be virtually unstoppable. Think about Claire Bennett from Heroes, for example. That girl could withstand just about anything. Fleas. Yeah. Don't scoff. Fleas are more than little nuisances. In fact, if fleas were the size of humans, heaven forbid, they would be able to jump over a building roughly the size of two football fields in a single bound. As it is, fleas can already jump more than a hundred times their own body length, which is impressive. Also, that vague, itchy feeling you're experiencing is not a flea. The flea's superpower can be compared to the enhanced leaping ability of Spider-Man. True, he mostly relies on webs to get around, but Peter Parker has quite the jump too. In fact, he has been known to leap several stories and the width of a city street. Spider -Man has been known to use his webs as a slingshot, which means that he and fleas have a lot more in common than you originally thought. Scientists are just now starting to figure out that the flea owes its jumping prowess to the same physics behind a catapult or a crossbow. Spider-Man is Spider-Man. It's just that he can jump almost as well as a flea. Man, if there was a flea the size of a human, you guys realize that superheroes would have their hands full, right? And there you have it. We might not live in a world full of superheroes, but let's be glad we live in a world where animals don't use their superpowers on us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time,